Hello there guys, this is Matt Oliver, the veg gardener at Hyde Hall and now we're going into late April and early May. Now is about the right time um, to be sowing our own sweet corn. Now sweet corn is an excellent uh, plant to do as a grow your own plant, to have a go at growing your own food because it will give you a taste that just cannot be matched by shop bought produce, especially if you concentrate on growing some of the really popular varieties Lark and Swift, um, two varieties with the RHS Award of Garden Merit, sort of a, a, a sign to show they're fantastic cultivars for the garden. But we also grow a couple of other different varieties up in the Global Growth Veg Garden. We've got one called Aztec Black, nice black kernels. And I'm also going to show you how to sow one called Mini Pop, which is this uh, a little baby sweet corn that you harvest and eat um, before the kernels, uh, the cobs develop to full maturity. But we sow them all the same way. They're dead easy. Um, I like to grow them in these really deep-rooted root trainer pots. It means we get a good root in depth before we plant them out. But you don't have to use these. You could use your nine-centimeter pots, or if you haven't got those, then uh, old loo rows. Lou rolls would work just as well. You can see we've used our peat-free compost again, but on this occasion I've just mixed in a little bit of perlite, which is this white granular material. You don't have to use this, but I find it really helps with opening the compost up, makes it really free draining water. It'll hold on to the moisture, but let it drain through as well. And this is really important because our sweet corn needs plenty of heat, plenty of sunlight, and not cold wet conditions in order to germinate well so you don't have to use this but this just gives it a little helping hand and all we do take our seeds and all i do is i just place one kernel in the middle of each cell like this easy 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 and i'll go along and i'll do the whole tray i'll just show you a couple for now and once we've done the whole tray, then get our stick or our pencil or we'll use our finger. And all we do, just push those kernels into the compost, just about half a centimetre, centimetre, something like that. Not too deep. And then we need to put them somewhere with plenty of warmth and plenty of light. So a south facing window sill will be ideal. Ours will be going in our heated propagator this has got heated wires underneath just get a little bit of heat from underneath um, and that will get them to germinate really quickly probably less than a week um, we'll take them out put them on the bench in and we'll probably be planting these out in the garden by the end of may early june and what you really want to avoid really really important is not to let your sweet corn get pot bound if you can't get them out into the garden then you probably need to pot them on after a couple of weeks from a bigger size than this um, if you let them get pot bound they really start to struggle you'll see the leaf color change uh, from a, a nice light green color I start to get that yellow in in them um, it shows they're just a bit short on nutrient and have a check to their growth and that is something that might prevent the plants growing well when you plant them out and the final big cobs forming. So important, your timing is correct on these and very important germination conditions as well. So there's a couple of tips for you. Um, recommend you have a go because sweet corn is one of those plants, once you've grown it once yourself and eaten your own produce, you never want to buy shop bought stuff again. So highly recommended crop.